Greetings, YouTube. I would never tell people that my channel is here to show you what the best of the best is when it comes to fighting. Uh, when I first found out about Battlegrounds, in fact, I was so intimidated by my lack of skill and even knowledge, especially because the better your roster is, in theory, when matchmaking is working, the more you're going to fight rosters that are just as good, if not better. And a lot of matchups in Battlegrounds, uh, especially before the Platinum range of matchups, has me not only against people who have you know, 10 plus rank five, uh, six stars. Or I, I saw somebody the other day in Battlegrounds that I played against who had like, I want to say five rank two, seven stars, five plus, maybe they had more than five. Uh, and that allows them, of course, to have, you know, a lot of options with high health and attack for Battlegrounds. But the other thing is, you know, I go up against people who are in the arenas, like the new arenas every week and not new arenas like I am in terms of, you know, getting all the milestones for, for units, like, you know, I'm, I'm recording this right before this ends, but you got a 29.4 million, 11.3 million, 4.4 million. You know, that, that feels good to me. That, uh, that works out well. But, um, no, these are people who go for the new featured six-star champion. So, you know, I'm fighting people who have a, a rank 5 SIG 200 Adam Warlock or a couple other champs, and I'm like, I don't even know if these champs are good. I have no idea how to use these champions. And so I have learned in Battlegrounds, when, when you get intimidated by uh, people who have newer decks than you and maybe even better decks than you, you know, when in doubt, lean on the, uh, the champions that you trust the most and that you have the most experience with. And the last three Battlegrounds wins I've had have all come in three rounds and all three of them I thought I was going to lose and I was prepared to lose. And I probably would lose at least, you know, if I played these people ten times, I'd probably lose at least five out of those ten. You know, it'd be a coin flip each time, essentially. So, you know, I don't I don't show you this to say I'm better than these people. No, 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 not at all. But, like, for example, my previous round three matchup where I lost round one, I got to give uh, this guy a lot of credit because I didn't know Kingpin was a good Rintra matchup and yet even though Rentra still had 33.9 percent health remaining he was able to win that because he was able to essentially uh not lose a single bit of health and just be very patient until the clock expired but round two i got him back with gallon i hate fighting killmonger but man does gallon make it less stressful and then check out this round three this is the purpose of this video because when in doubt when I have done my best to get myself out of a corner in battlegrounds Red Hulk who is now rank 5 SIG 200 Red Hulk has been a great matchup against Sasquatch, Mojo, Rintra uh, you name the classic uh, annoying defender America Chavez that is mystic and like red hulk is single-handedly carrying me in this game he's carrying me in terms of my excitement which also by the way one loss red room 666 just clean my clock but i guess i've won one two three four five six in a row i uh i'm sure i could easily lose six in a row but i am one shield away one uh one win away from gold two, which probably doesn't sound very impressive, but considering I um, only do this a couple uh, times every couple days for trophy tokens, you can see I have gained all three with a day left for objectives. So I'm going to claim these. And because I just won my 10th match, I get this which I feel like needs to be part of the thumbnail. I'm always trying to think of thumbnail design. Also, super fun fact, I keep running into the limit of Elder's Marks before it maxes out. They really should make the max more than 9,000, but uh, they don't. So I'm going to claim this because I can wait and claim the others in five days. 
but that's still 23,970. 23,970. And really, this solo objective, the emotional victory, I've given Red Hulk all the credit for this thing. I didn't even know I'd get this thing, because I'm like, I don't know if I'll win 10 Battlegrounds fights. I know that sounds really easy for the average person to do, but I'm not average. I think I'm kind of below average, to be honest, but not, I guess, not this season. Now, one could argue, well, Prof, you're, you're not below average because your your deck has enough good counters to where you can win fights against people with better skills. And my response is, you're, you're right. It, it does. Um, well, there you go. All hail, and I mean all hail, this guy. And I just have to keep saying the same thing. Don't sleep on Red Hulk. He is aging like a fine wine in this game when so many other things aren't. And for that, I will always be greatly appreciative.